Um, before that, we have um, our special guest, Kintis Lundgren, who has come over from Estonia to present our uh, film. Uh, we're going to screen, um, we'll, Kintis will give an introduction. We'll screen some of, the, some of Kintis' films, then there'll be a break, and she'll talk a bit more about Yeah, we're going to make two breaks in two between, breaks. and in the end I'll also talk a little bit, and you can also ask questions if you want. Okay. So, yeah, I can just start with some yeah. of And also I just wanted to say a big thank you to uh, the Estonian Embassy as well for making this uh, event possible. As yeah, well, thank, so. thank you for flying me here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's my second time in London. First time as an adult. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> <laughs> so, hi, I'm Kintis. Thank you for coming. I didn't expect so many people to come here. So, the films you want to see, they're all in a, a chronological order. So, like you say, see here, it's written bad. Some of them are maybe bad in the beginning, but it should get a little bit better. Uh, I uh, I never studied animation, so you know the first ones are really like kind of clumsy and weird. And uh, so actually, the first one you're gonna see is it's also kind of special because you cannot find this on the internet, not even on Russian torrents. <laughs> It's called Unexpected Waltz, and it's basically the first film I made. And <clears throat> well, I used to be a painter, and I never really dreamt about be becoming an animator. But I worked in this uh, advertising agency, and uh, over there we had like uh, every summer this kind of team building thing where people would uh, go to the countryside and get drunk and just kind of like team build, whatever. And then they decided to, to give us like some assignments, so. You know, we would, do, we would do something else besides drinking and uh, everyone, they gave us to choose between three songs and everybody had to divide into teams and make a music video and then we would show it at this team building event. But I'm very competitive. <laughs> I'm a very competitive kind of person, so I decided that I want to make the best one and I want to win. <laughs> and I'm not going to share this with anyone, so I'm going to do it alone, like no teams for me. And, uh, <laughs> So I did like in less than a week, it's like what, five minutes, five minute film. I didn't really know to animate, so a lot of it is rotoscope and stuff. It's really bad, <laughs> <laughs> but it's my first thing. And um, yeah, when I got to the this drinking event, it turned out that it was not a competition, so nobody won. <laughs> very disappointed. <laughs> But yeah, some people liked it, so I thought mm, maybe I could make some more stuff. And also because it was work related, like my bosses could see that I can I can kind of animate some stuff. So then the second thing you're gonna see, there is like four very short shorts uh, with birds who are drinking beer. So this um, like my creative director, whatever boss at work, he, he had this idea that uh, we could do this for one beer company as um, for the internet. You know, like they like this viral things and so and uh, because I work so fast he suggested that I just do it like just finish them because this you know they will not understand otherwise so I did them all and uh, but uh, the clients they didn't like it because it was too artsy <laughs> so but you're gonna see them now and uh, after that there will be one bird film I will talk about that later during the second break you can start <laughs> was uh, my first kind of serious film. Uh, I was still like uh, thinking of myself as a painter and I was uh, doing some paintings about birds and then I was doing research and reading about all these very strange things about them and then more and more I thought like, okay maybe I should make a film. So this was the first one where you know I didn't use rotoscoping and uh, I even sent this film to festivals. It even got accepted. And, uh, but after that, uh, I had made all this film with so many birds, and I was thinking like, wow, in Estonia there's such a thing as uh, ornithological society. It would be like really funny if I could somehow work together with them, since I made this film about the birds. And uh, they had this kind of program called the Bird of the Year, 
And I was even thinking, wow, if I would know what's the bird for next year, maybe I could make a film about that and then show it to them and then maybe they would like it and they would show it somewhere. And then two weeks after I was thinking these thoughts, there was a press statement that the next year's bird is the Great Grey Shrike, the one I had just made a film about. So then of course I had to write them an email and they were really surprised. They didn't, hadn't even thought about that, you know, they could promote birds by, with animations. So they, like for a whole year they were showing this in all of their events and for next year they uh, actually asked money and they like, uh, paid me to make some more films about birds. <laughs> so this is like a really good tip for you if anyone here is <laughs> a young animation student or something. You can just like choose your own client, you know, like make some stuff that they might like and then, you know, give them ideas that maybe they could pay you next time. <laughs> So, um, so now you're gonna show, gonna see like a few of the short ones that I made, made for them, and um, after that, there's going to be a music video with birds again. Like for a long time, I was basically known as the bird animator. Mm -hmm. This was also a funny story. I um, at that time I would put all my films online like immediately as I finished them, because I mean they were not so good animated. I should wait for like a con premiere or something. So. I think when you're a young animator, it's uh, worthy for you to put things online where people can find them and um, you can also find work that way. So this music video you're going to see later on called I Love Your Face. So some guy just wrote to me and said like, ah, oh, I saw your stuff on Vimeo and it was cool. Like, do you want to take my money and make me a music video? You can do whatever you want. And uh, well, I did that. And some months later, like many months later, he writes to me and there had been some interview with me in the media and he's like, you're a girl, I didn't know. <laughs> I was like, what the hell, like, <laughs> I didn't even Google me that much. <laughs> you just like pay your money up front, I don't care, like, uh, you know, maybe I will never make anything for you, like, maybe I'm a known, like, a scam artist. <laughs> but you know, cool. Anyway, so yeah, it's like I think it's worth it putting your things online. Oh yeah, and then you're gonna see a few more trailers that I made for festivals and some other cool stuff that I'm gonna talk about during the next break. Anyway, so I was uh, thinking about this film. It's like. Uh, I was like, uh, like doing the script. Oh yeah, like all the films you have seen so far, I spent never spent more than one day on the script. But the next one, I spent like half a year or something. Mm -hmm. And it's all because of Trashko, because I was like spent one day and I would show him like this is my idea, and he would be like this is shit. <laughs> <laughs> so and then I would be like I hate you, and <laughs> then I would be depressed for a few days, and then I would realize he's right. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in the end we ended up being like co-writers on this film and also on a lot of on all the longer films that I have made after that. Like he's it's been become a bit easier, like uh, now it takes maybe a few days before I say I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to say something else. Um oh yeah, it's uh, it's about relationships and uh, but it's not about me and Trashko. Don't ask me that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, after that there will be some more like funny shorter clips from this Money World in the Absent Rabbits world and and some other stuff I'll talk later. The, the last time, yeah. It's it's over soon, don't worry. <laughs> about Thomas, the hot plumber from Moneyworld, who um, is going to end up being kind of a shigolo plus an actor in a movie. <laughs> so this maybe next year or so, you can see it somewhere. <laughs> uh, I don't know, there's to say, maybe Trashko, you should come up here. Like, he's uh, my... Um, Co-script writer and uh, voice actor, that is Thomas.
where shall I put it, Antonio? <laughs> <laughs> Have any questions? You can ask them now, or if you're tired, you can ask the stage. <laughs> <laughs> the folks are right. Yeah. I just want to ask about the animation technique. Because I, 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 I draw on a very small paper, like A5, so that's why I can be basically faster than if I would draw it on a thin thing. And uh, that way I preserve this paper texture and, uh, yeah, it's just... Taking the paper, shooting with a camera and then just coloring in Photoshop. Mm -hmm. Well, because, I mean, usually I, I start with the picture, except for maybe these very short clips. Like, these are very musical, so sometimes music will come first. But, you know, it's kind of a back and forth. Like, sometimes you, you do the, the picture and then you put the music and you realize it's, like, too fast or too slow and then, of course, you have to re-edit. What do you say your, like, influences are in terms of, like, the style of humor and stuff? Because it's really unique. Well, I mean, it's obviously like Brit Bern and, you know, this Eastern European kind of dark, darker mm -hmm. things. Because, I mean, that's how what I grew up with, like, in like, growing up in Soviet Union, you know, we didn't see, like, Tom and Cherry. I really wanted to see Tom and Cherry, but all I saw is this, like, very heavy Brit Bern films, which I didn't even understand what it's about, but, you know, it's, I mean, it influences you, of course. Are you, uh, are you... Work, working on a short film like this full time, or are you also do like commercial side of things? Yeah, I do. Like I've done a few clips for TED. Ed. Actually, I could have shown them maybe. But oh yeah, so this is here something also to say that I didn't want to kill you guys. So these are not all my films. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I chose you know like mostly the shorter and a bit funnier ones, but you can go on the internet. And uh, yeah, for work I've been doing some TED Ed lectures. You know, they have these animated things. There's one about cats, it's like really popular. <laughs> Check it out. And there's the naked small rat. It's a naked rat. <laughs> but yeah, mostly I do like um, these last two films, Moneyworld and Life with Armani Short. And now the next one I'm making is it's almost like a, it takes more than a year. We spend more than half a year on fixing the script and then something like half a year animating. And then it takes me, it's like a two year cycle. It takes like another year to come up with a new idea and financing and all that. And then in between I do some little bit of commission work. But also, like we have a studio in Croatia, like Trashko is a producer. He's everything. <laughs> and uh, then sometimes he also makes some films and he just supports me when I'm not making a film. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also like worthy, like if you're an animator, to find a style which is so simple that you can do things really fast because then you can keep the budget really low and um, and it can be enough to survive on. You shouldn't make films that takes you forever. And it's too complicated. <laughs> so, anyone else? Okay, maybe we can let them go home. <laughs> <laughs> or the next screening. Yeah? Yes. Okay, next, well, yeah. Screening. We'll have a, a 10 or 15 minute break. You can get a drink at the bar and then we'll be back with the uh, second half of the program, the Stonewall Celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.